one. All right, so today we're gonna do a fun little flow. And let's let's sit down and let's let's talk. Um, all right. Find a comfortable seated position. So today, this morning, I woke up at 7 a.m. I had my microphone that was delivered yesterday and I was gonna set it up and plug it in and have this amazing high quality video and I just spent two and a half hours trying to figure it out <laughs> and nothing uh, happened so we're still microphoneless and I just I could I could like notice myself getting agitated and short of breath and that tightness in my chest and I knew in that second I had a, an opportunity to rewrite the script right I can just say okay it is what it is it's not going to be perfect today moving on and and it got me thinking we're not a victim of our circumstances but we can very much be a victim of how we respond to things that may feel like they're happening to us. So always in these moments, we have a chance to practice that pause that we practice in our yoga postures, that we practice in our breath work, in our meditation. We have a chance to take a step back and say, okay, here's one route. I know how that goes. Where is that gonna get me in the long term? What's that gonna do to my hormone, my endocrine system? And then, okay, here's another route that I can take. Can I just take a deep breath? Can I see the bigger picture? And if I need to respond in such a way, here I go and I'm gonna respond. And that takes a lot of practice. I know for me, I like totally had like a two minute, oh my God, moment today. Um, you know, and that period gets less and less, right? As we practice and some days are better than the others, but it's a practice and it's just as important if not more than our physical yoga practice and our meditation. In fact, all this work is preparing for those little moments in your life like that that seem insignificant, that seem like, oh, I you know, forgot that even happened. That's a huge moment when you can take a breath, take a moment, and see outside of yourself. That's really a gift. All right, bring your hands to palm, hands and palms together. And so if you hear me kind of like halfway yelling, it's because I'm just not still quite sure what the sound quality is without the microphone. And we're just gonna make the best of it and smile and keep living our life and be grateful that we have a life to live. Inhale in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Inhale in to tune in. Oh. Allowing whatever came before this, whatever is to come after this, to just take a back seat. All right, let's begin. Go ahead and stand up to the top of your mat with your towel, ankle bones together, palms together, shoulders relaxed. Always finding a moment of gratitude a moment of dedication if you choose. And sometimes the best thing that you can say if you feel overwhelmed by that is just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's begin, inhale. Eyes up, look up, reach up. Exhale, breathing, fold forward, stomach in, Uttanasana. Inhale, eyes forward, stomach in, look forward. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. 
You can always drop your knees. Inhale, up dog, push the heart forward, push the toes down. Exhale, down dog. Press your hips back, take five breaths here. If you need to walk your feet out a little bit, shake your head, do whatever feels good to you, and just know that stillness is always an option. Take two more breaths here, inhale in. Exhale slowly out. Another deep breath in. Exhale, walk your feet forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Feet hip width apart, place your hands into fists, fists into opposite elbow crease, and fold. You can shake your head yes, you can shake your head no, you can rock from side to side. Let your fists be heavy so the spine stretches down. Bend your knees slightly, pull your belly button in and slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Number two, inhale, eyes up, look up, reach up. Exhale, breathing, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back to plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, look back, stomach in. Exhale, down dog, hips back, stomach in. Tip your tailbone up. Reach your heel bones down and pull the armpits in towards the midline of the mat so that you feel your shoulder girdle supported. Relax your toes. Press down into the root of the thumb, the root of the forefinger, and rotate your elbow points in towards each other. One more breath here, inhale in. Exhale, stay here. Good. Inhale, breathing, look forward. Exhale, step or hop forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, eyes up, look up, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop back, plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, contract your thighs. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Again, find your Ansa Bandha, rotate your arm bones in, rotate your inner elbows in and pull the belly of your forearm out to the side of the mat. Good, inhale, push the floor away. As you exhale, drop your elbows down, dolphin pose. If your shoulders feel weak, take a block or a book and squeeze with your thumb and forefinger in really, really tight so that you start to turn on your latissimus dorsi, your rhomboid muscles to support this. Dolphin split, inhale, right leg up, pull ribs in, press inner wrists down, squeeze inner elbows in, and rotate right inner thigh in and up longer. Push down left heel, push down palms, and reach your leg up. Good, step right foot down, other side, left leg up. I always like eat my necklace when I do this. Squeeze your elbows in, pull the ribs in, stretch your left leg up. Again, rotate the hip, it's not turned out, it's turned in, Kaji Banda, put your hip lock in place, press hips together, dig the right heel bone down, pull front ribs in, stretch your left leg up, Lengthen the back of your left leg. Squeeze in your elbows and press the backs of your wrists down. And exhale, left leg down. Come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, breathing, look forward. Exhale, step your feet forward. Uttanasana fold. Inhale, eyes up, look up, reach up. Stomach in. Exhale, hands together. Namaskar. So you inhale, chair, squeeze your knees, squeeze your sit bones, exhale, fold. Inhale, look for it. Exhale, step or hop back, plank, lower down, chaturanga. 
Inhale up. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Right leg forward, warrior one. And one inhale. Exhale. Slowly lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Squeeze elbows in. Exhale, down dog. Push hips back. Left leg, warrior one. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up, press toes down. Exhale back, five breaths. Look for the belly button. Tip tailbone up, stretch heel bones down. Keep rolling inner thighs back, inner thighs back. Arm bones in, pull ribs in. Stretch tailbone up, press heel bones down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop forward, fold. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look. Exhale, hop. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Inhale, warrior one. Squeeze left butt. Press left heel. Exhale, lower down. You can always drop the knees. Inhale, up. Full breath. Exhale, back. Full exhale. One breath, left leg, step, and lift. One exhale, step, and lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. And again, if you ever want this more yang, add a handstand, do your thing, have some fun with it, if you would like. Rotate your elbows in, pull belly button in. Get inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop forward, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, chair. Stomach it in, tip tailbone down, reach your arms up. And hold here, three more breaths. If you have a neck or shoulder injury, please place your hands into prayer. Or if you like did an arm workout yesterday. Stomach in, send hips back, drop heels down, lift heart up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward, push your hips forward. Exhale, breathing, step or hop back, plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale up, press the floor away. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, really high. Swing through, warrior one. Press down, back edge of the back heel. Pull your hip bones together. Reach your arms up. So really in most standing postures, you're doing practicing Katibanda, the hip lock, make the hips more narrow, drop the tailbone down, and try to imprint the back spine against the back wall. Two more breaths. Rotate right inner thigh up, press arch of right heel down, pull belly button in. Get inhale, come up high on the back toes, rotate out, warrior two. Belly button in. Reach your arms apart. Rotate right inner thigh in and up. Dig outer edge, back heel down. Again, practice your Kati Bandha. Press your sit bones together, hip bones together. Pull the belly button up to drop the tailbone down. One more breath. Press down the feet. Reach apart the hands. Good, reverse. Reach up and reach over. And remember, it's a side bend rather than a back bend. So bend right knee, plug the spine against the back wall and reach. Feels really nice to let the head go. Keep digging down left heel so hard, you feel the whole thigh contract. Keep pulling in stomach so that you feel the side body stretch. One more breath here. Stay for a full exhale. Good, inhale. Come back to your warrior two. 
Plug right hand down, extended side angle pose. If you're still relatively new to yoga, you could rest your right arm down and reach your left arm straight up or start to reach at the same line that your left leg is. Otherwise, go for it. Pull the belly button in. Keep pulling the back side of your right butt cheek forward as you push your left heel down. Pull front rep, left rib cage back. Stretch bottom left rib cage towards your left hand and dig down the very center of your left foot. Relax your toes. Another inhale in. Exhale fully. Good. Left hand to the mat. Scoot your left foot out. Keep the heel down if you can and twist. So this is where I may or may not be yelling. Squeeze your sit bones together and reach up. The more you find it in the pelvic floor and in the hips, the easier you can find it in the spine. One more breath here. And exhale, left heel bone up. Step your right leg back, down dog split. Lift it up high, right leg down to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Other side, left leg up. Sweet through, warrior one. Arms up. Pull the belly button in. So always pressing the back of your spine back so that you avoid the back bend. Press down outside edge of right foot, inner arch of left, and put a lift in the pelvic floor. One focus with the eyeballs, belly button in, belly button up, Uddiyana Bandha. Open out, warrior two. Switch around so you can see. Think about broadening the front of the pelvis and pulling together the back of the pelvis. Dig down right heel, reach apart your arms, pull front ribs in, stretch the back of the waist long and bend your left knee. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. Contract right thigh by pressing down right foot and reverse. Pull belly button in, reach your right hand down, but keep pulling the belly button in so it's not so much as a scrunch, but a stretch. Keep bending left knee, you see how mine came up, it's just very normal. So bend and stretch. Stomach in, heart up, inhale, come back up, extended side angle. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Use your left shoulder pressing against your left knee to rotate. I like to look at my hand. You can also look at the armpit. Pull belly button in. Slide belly button up towards your rib cage. Press your right heel down super hard and squeeze right butt. One more inhale in. Exhale fully. Right arm down. Scoot your right foot out, keep the heel on the floor, inhale, stretch up and out into a twist. If that feels like you unsquare your hips, keep your back heel lifted. Because that's more important. Stomach in, heart up, squeeze your sit bones together, dig the right heel bone down, push your right palm down, and lift your left arm up. Good, exhale. Left hand down, step back, down dog split. Come back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Inhale, right leg up, down dog split. Swing it through, high lunge. Arms up, Kali Mudra. Interlace your fingers, release the next fingers. Cross your thumbs and remember, right thumb, feminine, masculine, left thumb, feminine, balance what you need. Press sit bones together, pull the belly button in, 
and unbend your back leg. Arms up, reach up, backward bend. Press the floor away and use your hands reaching as much as your feet pushing. Lift the heart up, reach the hands back. Squeeze your wrists together, you can do it. Stay here, two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your left foot in, pyramid fold. Stomach in, pull the belly button forward. Press your right knuckle into your left palm really hard and dig the back edge of your left heel bone down to pull left inner thigh forward. Contract right thigh, send right side pubic bone back. Check back in with the hands, press the hands together, squeeze the elbows together and lean the heart forward. Revolve triangle. Reach up and reach out. So you can use your shin bone again as a block, makeshift block, or reach your hands to the inside or the outside. So just know keep pressing right side hip into the left. Really just focus on the back edge heel of your back foot. Dig it down hard and you'll feel your thigh stretch on the right leg. Stomach in, push left hand down, reach right arm up. Now that you have everything in place, take a deep inhale in stillness. Exhale. Get hands to the mat, step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step it through, high lunge. And your arms up, Kali Mudra. Ooh. Interlace your fingers. So again, working with what energy you would like to balance today. Press the sit bones together hard. Lift your right thigh bone up. Pull belly button in. Take a deep breath, reach the heart up. As you exhale, look back. Five deep breaths. Push your pointer fingers together to extend your arm bones more. Squeeze right butt cheek. Pull belly button up. Press feet down. Lift right knee cap up. Squeeze inner thighs in. Reach your heart up. Reach your hands back. Press your wrists together. Inhale, come back up. Hands to the mat. Step right heel in. Pyramid fold. Find the left and right side of your pubic bone. Squeeze it together hard, relax your toes. Have it come from the leg muscles rather than the toes. Press right pointer finger mound into the left really, really hard. Dig down outer edge, right foot. Squeeze in inner left thigh to rotate left sit bone back, right sit bone forward. Inhale here, exhale, revolve triangle. Right hand to the inside or outside, or always on the shin if you need to. And twist. And if you're unsure about the alignment of the pelvis, place left hand on the back, and you can feel if there's anything out of a line. Something will feel higher or lower, or more forward or back. Press down the heels evenly. Twist the spine evenly. Send left side sit bone back. Ooh. Right inner thigh forward. You can also self assist here. I like, I like to, obviously. Push your left hip back, pull the belly button in. 
Now dig down your right heel so hard because you're using your left arm and twist here. One more breath, deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Inhale, hands to the mat. Step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga, stomach in. Inhale up, exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, breathing, look forward. Exhale, hop forward. Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair. Squeeze your sides of the pubic bone together. Sit down, stomach in. Press palms together. Bend your knees and sit. For me, I carry my tension in my shoulders, so I'm always a namaskar girl, honestly. But if you can and you would like, reach your arms up. Press your inner knees together, inner calf muscles together, inner ankle bones together. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Inhale, reach up, exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step or hop back to plank, lower down chaturanga, elbows touch the body, make sure. Inhale, up dog, exhale, press back. Downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Set it through. High lunge. Arms up. Kali Mudra. Reach your arms up. Take a deep inhale. Revisit the back bend. Squeeze your sit bones together. Reach up. Reach back. Stomach in. One more breath. Good. Inhale, come back up. Place your hands to the mat. Step your right leg back. Vashisasana side plank. You can drop your right knee as an adjustment, modification. Pull the belly button in and reach up. So I'm grabbing my big toe. You can keep your legs stacked if you would like. Stomach in. Press the floor away with the edge of your right foot and the center of your right palm. One more breath here. Good. Step your left foot forward, warrior two. Nice and fancy. Pull the belly button in. Again, imprint the spine against the back wall and bend your knee. Straighten your left leg, scoop your right heel bone in, triangle pose. So again, you can always use the shin. Really think about the extension of the spine rather than the goal of grabbing the big toe. So you can actually kind of see, this is helpful for me too. I find more extension when I'm just resting here. Contract left thigh so that you're not hyperextending. Squeeze right butt cheek into your left, squeeze left butt cheek into your right and extend. Left armpit away from left hip, right armpit away from left right hip. Good. Inhale, come back up, pivot, step back to plank. In your long plank, just press back down dog. So it might feel really long and really wide, but I find it's a great stretch. Inhale, left leg up, step through, high lunge. It's hot in Memphis today. <laughs> Arms up, I'm sweating. Okay, squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your sit bones together, lift your heart up reach back. Again, find the devotion. Make it fun even if it's a scary new posture for you. Get out of your head. Press the floor away. Pull the belly button in. Reach up. Reach back. Woo. Inhale, come back up. Hands to the mat. Step back. Vashisasana. Don't waste any time getting into it. Stomach in. Heart up. So good for their butt cheek. No one talks about that with the thigh, with this posture. Pull the belly button in, press the foot down, reach your other leg up if it's up, press the center of your palm down, reach up. Right arm pit up away from the floor, right heel bone down, stomach in. All right, step it through, warrior two. Spiral up, spiral out. Press 
press the sides of the pelvis apart, squeeze the back side of the pelvis together, navel up, hands apart. Good, straighten your leg, and a trikonasana. I actually think I did the wrong side, so here I go on the other side. Stomach in. Squeeze your sit bones together, and remember, like here, is actually a great example. I tried to grab my toes, but I noticed looking at the video, I have more extension when I just place my hand on my ankle. Pick up the kneecap, press down left heel, reach your shoulder blades apart. If your neck really bothers you here, you can drop it, absolutely. Pull front ribs towards the back, imprint back of the spine against the back wall. One more breath here. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. And inhale, breathing, roll forward to plank. As you exhale, lower down. You can drop your knees. Just keep elbows touching the body nice and slow. All right, locust pose A and B. Stay with me here. Squeeze in your thighs together. Press your fingernails down super duper hard and use your arm bones. Take a deep breath. Inhale and lift your legs up. Press your fingernails down. Lift the heart up. Get your knees to touch. Your calf muscles to touch. Your ankle bones to touch. Your fingernails press down. It's okay if your legs are shaking. Mine are too. Stomach in. Squeeze inner butt cheeks, reach your toes back, slide your arms forward. Don't change anything else. Squeeze your elbows in, lift the heart up, lift the legs up, squeeze your legs, get your leg muscles all the way back together. One more breath, exhale, release. Lift to the left, right here on the towel. Deep breath in, let anything go that you don't need out. Look to the right. All right, chin forward. Dandarasana bow. We'll do two first. Flex your feet. Keep your thigh bones on the floor. Grab the inside of the tops of your ankle. If you need to, you can grab the outside. And if you need to, you can grab a towel around the tops of your ankle and start to and start the posture here. Just meet yourself where you are and move on. Okay. So grab where you can. Flex your feet. Stomach in. Pubic bone presses down. Take a deep breath and push your heels back. So knees stay down. Front lower ribs pull in. So it's really just not dumping. You're stretching and lifting. Push pubic bone down. Ooh, this feels good. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Reach your heel bones back. Stay in it. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. One more deep breath in. You can do it. Just decide that you can do it. Exhale, lower down. Straighten the legs. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. All right, bow pose. Well, I lied, we're gonna do three, just cause I feel like it. So grab your ankle bones, squeeze, or sorry, tops of your feet, squeeze your heels together, and inhale, lift up. I lied, grab the ankles. Squeeze your heels together, pull the belly button in, reach your toes up. Three more breaths, stay in it. You might not go up very high, but this will give you an amazing bow. Squeeze your knees, an amazing pelvic floor too. Everybody wants that. Lift the heart, get exhale, release. All right, last bow, promise. Grab either the inside or the outside of your feet. You can also grab your big toes 
to help open up the shoulder. So that's the most advanced option for this one. Squeeze your knees as close as you can. Take a deep inhale in. I need it. <laughs> Exhale out. And go ahead, kick up. Keep your knees in line with your hips. Stomach in. Heart up. Push your toes up. Push your fingernails down. Lift up. Kick up against that. Exhale, release. Place your hands on the mat. Tuck your back toes. Inhale. Lift up. Up dog. Exhale, press back. Child's pose. Inhale, lean forward. Up dog again. Open up the heart. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Step it through. Low lunge. Bring your arms up. As you exhale, twist. If your knee feels, back knee feels sensitive, you can tuck your back toes. Pull the belly button in. Find your Kachibanda. Squeeze sit bones together. Tailbone down. If your back toes are not tucked already, go ahead and tuck your back toes. Keep your body how it is. Just straighten your left leg. Pull the belly button in. Squeeze your sit bones together. Press down the ball of your left foot. Stomach in. And reach up and out, warrior two. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Reach up just for a quick stretch. As you exhale, reach your hands to the mat, lift your back heel up and drop your back heel down. For the hip stretch, I'll go at an angle. So start like you would a lizard pose. Pull the belly button in, come up on the edge of your front leg and send your hips down. So it's like an ice skate edge with your foot. Dig it down hard and really flex the foot so that you get more out of this posture. If that feels really intense, you can back off and just start to drop the knee at whatever angle that you can to open up this part of the hip. If this feels like you can go further, come down to your elbows. Press down the edge of your right foot, pull the belly button in, stretch the back of your heart forward. And relax your jaw. All right, from here, pull the belly button in, shift the weight back, and try to tuck your head using your stomach strength underneath the leg. So even if right now it just looks like this, you're still getting a lot of stretch out of it. So meet yourself where you are and do not come out of this posture. Pull the belly button in. If you wanna go further, grab your heel. Stomach in. Reach with your stomach to stretch the spine. Get changed, come back to center. Hands to the inside of your leg. Lift your leg up into a lunge. Step back to plank. Press back, down dog. Other side, left leg up. Swing it through, low lunge. Let's just keep the back heel tucked for simplicity. Arms up, tailbone down. So instead of dumping, think about stretching. I do it. And that's how I know to not do it. So pull the belly button in. Exhale, twist. Back bend left shoulder blade, send in left hip so that the knee, <laughs> there's the knee, and the ankle and the hip are all in one line and not just pushed out for the sake of making a shape. Have each posture be 
therapeutic and enjoyable even if it's really hard right now it won't always be that way just like your life you're practicing staying power and if you get out of everything really fast it's going to be very hard to do that in your life all right lift back leg up into a twist Pull the belly button in. One more breath here. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Open out warrior two. Lift up, lift back. Exhale, hands to the mat into a low lunge. So again, coming onto the edge, you might be able to see it better of the foot and again you can be very far back and stretch just an inch and that's still a really great posture give yourself some grace with your practice and you'll actually go way farther pull the belly button in if you want to go take a step further come down to the forearms navel in and up jaw relaxed let some pressure be in your left foot. Good, from here, walk your hips back. So you're rounding your spine kind of like a cat and then stick your leg or your head under your leg. Pull the belly button in. So again, here is still a really great posture, but keep trying. That's the only way you're gonna get anywhere. Just keep trying. If you like to bend your right knee, grab your right foot. Keep stomach in, keep pelvic floor lifted. Another deep breath in, deep exhale out. I will slowly unwind, right leg back if it was up. Come back out, keep your stomach in, straighten your leg, and step back to plank. Press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale in, exhale, let it go. Inhale, look forward, exhale, hop through. Paschimottanasana, leg straight, stomach in, and fold. Squeeze your sit bones together, push your tailbone back, and lean the back of the heart forward. Find right side pubic bone, push it back, away from inside of right foot, foot pushing forward. Inner left side pubic bone, push back. Inner left foot, push forward. Inhale, come back up, bend your knees, in towards your chest. All right, let's just do a few Navasanas. Legs up, heart up, press your thighs together, stretch your heels together, stomach. Again, for an adjustment, you can bend the knee or rest the toes. Heart up, stomach in. Just cause low boat, or yeah, low boat. High boat, lift your arms, stomach in, Baddha Konasana. Relax pelvic floor, use the belly button, lift it up, pull it forward. Press down the edges of the feet together, to lift up and reach forward. Keep the spine long so that it stays in the hips. Good, inhale, come back up, bring your knees to your chest, scoot your hips forward and roll back, Kolasana Plow. And again, if you're new to this and the, or you, your lower back is bothering you today, you can rest right here. Or ladies, if you're on your moon cycle, 
this is usually pretty good. From here, either staying here or lifting up, Sarvangasana shoulder stand. Slowly lower your legs back down if they were up. Cardi Pindasana, ear pressure pose, bend your knees. And it's okay if your knees don't touch yet. Like maybe they look a little bit like this, or they're like this and plow. It's all great. Just breathe into it. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and your practice won't be either. So you can just grace and forgiveness, little sense of humor, and you'll go really far. Straighten your legs and slowly roll down. Use your stomach to control the speed. Lower your legs all the way down. Bring your thumb and your forefinger underneath your butt cheeks. Lift your head up, drop your head back for fish pose. We'll do three rounds of lion's breath. Stick your tongue out, widen your nostrils, your eyes, and lift your eyebrows. Inhale in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Slowly lay down on your back, Savasana. Hopefully you can uh, hear the sound of the birds. And if not, let your breath be the soundtrack to rock you into an altered state. Rock you into peace. Take a deep breath in. Slow exhale out. Start to wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Stretch your arms over your head. Stretch your legs away from your arms. Roll to your right side. Fetal position, rest your head on your arm. When you're ready, gently push yourself back up. Come to a comfortable seated position. hands together, namaskar. If 
he would like to end your practice with some pranayama or a meditation, please check out some more videos. I really encourage you guys to dive into that area of your practice. Let's all take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Deep breath in, breathe in joy. Deep breath out, breathe out fear. Deep breath in. You all have a wonderful rest of your day. Take really deep breaths and enjoy the time that you have. Namaste. Thank you all for practicing. It's so fun to practice together even though we're not in the same space. Please like this video if you liked it comment anything you would like to see or any areas of improvement um, and please subscribe it helps me be able to share more in a substantial way with you